Howdy! Hello! Hello! Welcome! 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 Welcome to my stream! What is up, everybody? Hello, hello, hello! Oh, I have a whole lot of love. Let me uh, put in the Discord where what we are, where we're doing. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh... Uh -huh, there we go. Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Playing some hardcore, but abilities random every level. Yo yo! <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Okay. So. For those of you, oh, hang on. Let's let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. So, for those of you who are new to this, new to me, new to what I'm doing, this is obviously World of Warcraft Hardcore. Um, however, there's a bit of a twist. There's a bit of a spin. Every level, all of my abilities, the ones you see down here, all of my abilities and consumables are reset every level. And I have to spin the wheel to redetermine what abilities I have access to. Now, the number of abilities I have access to is determined, which I, I don't need this, is determined by my level. So right now down here I have 12 abilities, including the Hearthstone. So, uh, yeah, and who knows? I mean, if I have the food in my backpack, it could all be food. Um, I could lose out on my freaking heroic strike, which is like essential for my existence. Um, maybe I'll have no health potions. Kind of depends on the whims of the wheel. The whims of the magic wheel. So, let's get going. Let's get started. First, though, I think... Have I... Okay, I don't think I spun with... when I, Last time I spun, I don't think I spun with the level 12 abilities in mind. So next time I level, I will definitely 100% have to do that. Um, and I came over here for the thumbnail, but I do have some quests that I think I need to do on the way to Dunmoreau. In Dunmoreau. So, that's priority number one. <clears throat> Let's get to Dunmoreau, grab those quests, then go to Dunmoreau and do the stuff there. Um, this also hopefully will give me an opportunity to use more of my disposable items because these bag of marbles, I always get it and I never use it. <laughs> so maybe I'll have more of an opportunity to use it now that my abilities are more limited. I have to be more creative. All right, so this is the South Gate Pass. Colby, what's going on? Have I ever been to Loch Modan? Wait, is this Lo this is Loch Modan, isn't it? Not Dunmoreau. Hang on, Dunmoreau is. Let me get out of this tunnel. And I can look at the map. I might have gotten the two mixed up. Weep. This. 
This is Dud Merle. I meant to say a lock more down. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta change my, my stream name. Edit. Lock. Mo. Dan. Save. There we go. Dumbro is snowy. Lockmodan is grassy. Yes, Lockmodan is the one we want. There we go. I always get the two mixed up. Fix now, though. Fix now. Okay. Got to talk to this fellow. Got to talk to this chap. And they barely change elevation and they're like 100 feet apart. They're pretty close to each other. They're like basically the same place if one was 20 levels harder. Okay, 10 levels harder, whatever. Uh, there was another quest here, wasn't there? Or was that in the north? I think that was in the north. Alright, now let's go to Loch Modan. Proper. The proper term for it, Loch Modan. Weather changes are weird lately. It's this weird tunnel, you know? It's screwing with the weather. Loch Modan is the Westfall of Dwarves. Yes, yes. That I was gonna I was debating whether to go to Westfall or Loch Modan. But apparently the uh West side of Loch Modan is easier than Westfall. So we're starting with that, then we'll go over to Westfall, do some Westfall, then we'll come over back to Loch Modan, and then Um Shoot, I think I, I Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. Uh yeah, then we'll go to the other side of the link. Other side of the lock. The lock. Oh, I need to get these quests while I'm here. Hello, friend. How are you? How are you? Hop and down and up. Okay. There's a fellow up here who has a hankering to give me a task. I feel like you should be able to crawl out of these windows, just in my opinion. But I don't think it's possible. Oh, I can! Oh, yeah, it's because I'm a dwarf. I awesome like that. Mm, mm, mm. When you're a human, you cannot. But because I'm a dwarf, I'm just that cool. <clears throat> Lock Modan, I feel, is better than Westfall. Uh, why do you think it's better, Kobe? Dodge, dodge. Oh, I dodged that guard. They didn't even see it coming. Over there is hard stuff to do. I don't want to go over there. I'm almost 13. I'll be 13, probably finishing this next quest. Are there any quests that I can... This one is... He's usually patrolling the road through Thel Samar and Loch Modan. Oh, okay. I know where that is. And then there's these ones. It's actually interesting to level and rather than killing a bunch of farm animals in endless boring fields. <laughs> Westfall throws you into hard quests right away. Lock Modan helps with soft. <laughs> Go to Lock Modan. They have sausages. Okay. Okay. Um. Did you go through Northgate yet? There is one quest there you can do. I have not gone through Northgate. Should I go through Northgate first? There's a quest here I need to turn in real quick. I know that there's one where you like have to fight like a like a like a snow leopard or something like that. Avoid find bingles. Why avoid find bingles? I've done. I've never died to that one. Oh, oh! I gotta uh, start to Kendall. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, man. Thor, what's up? Gonna find Bingles Blasterheimer while you're in the lock. 
That's the plan. The elite horde patrol? Wait, what? There's a horde patrol for finding bingles? Oh, wait. That's on the other side of the lock. Isn't it? I'm not going to do it now. Because isn't the other side of the lock for, like, freaking level 20? Just swim and you're fine. Oh, okay. Following quest sends you to Trog Isle. Trogs are no fun. But I've never been there before either. So maybe. Maybe, just maybe. It's kind of like Alliance Outriders and the Barons. Oh my gosh, this guy's a level 10. Oh, it's fine. I know my way around. I don't know if I've done the Alliance Outriders. Oh, wait. The patrol is like the Alliance Outriders. Yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're talking about. But I dodged the patrol easy peasy. By not noticing them until the last second and then running wildly. That's how I did it. Is that a better shield? Uh... Nope. Yes, gang patrol. Plus croc. Wait, there's crocs? Swimming has level 18 mobs in water? Um. Oh my gosh. It's just kind of bad all around, isn't it? Right through some of my favorite grinding areas. Okay, okay. So you are expert at dodging... The uh, elite horde patrol. Ah, hello, bear. Oh shoot, it's a, it's a big bad. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Come on. Oh, I got this. It's get. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Yeah! Eat! Kebab! Crocs at the shore, sea monsters in the lake. I'm glad Kata drained that zone. Oh, did they? I hate that they drained it. It was so iconic. From Thousand Needles up just past Camp Taraho is prime grinding for me. And those stupid ride patrols the whole stretch. Alright, so basically if you're in danger of getting in... Uh, uh, being seen by the patrol, then you are in his prime, your prime grinding area. That sounds scary, dude. Those patrols are scary stuff. I, unfortunately, I have never been killed by one. Knock on wood. But, uh, I don't want to start today. Like, what other game has a giant dam with huge nosed dwarves? Good question. That's true. I was gonna say Helm's Deep, but number one, that's not a game, and number two, they're not dwarves. There's not dwarves. It's just a big fortress. Do you ever what? Did you never watch the Cadet cinematic? Wait, the one with the dragon? Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to Colby? Me, ma, me, ma. Deathwing has less destruction than the Night Elves. Wait, in the cinematic, or are you talking in general? Woo! So fast! So fast! If it's a quest that takes me to the other side of the lock, I definitely will try it. After I'm level 20. Once I've done some Westfall. I tried to pretend Cat had never happened. Ruined the game for me in a lot of ways. It took a long time to come back. That seems to be a pretty common opinion. But that's Death's favorite expansion. Isn't the beta, beta starting? Cat a classic beta. I saw that when I opened the game. Cat a classic beta is starting now. I guess I won't know till I try it. 
All of Azeroth used to be one continent, then the Night Elves went boom, boom, and made all these different ones. Okay. I did not know that was caused by the Night Elves. I'm not even going to apply for beta because I don't... Keep, you don't keep the character. Oh. Night Elf slash Kaldor... Kaldorai, Queen Azura, summoned demons into Azeroth through the well, now Maelstrom. And when the Pit Lord sent back through, it sundered Kalendor into multiple continents. Whoa, okay. Want to continue on my main? Oh. You're mad at Beta? Why are you mad at Beta? Death? Is it because you can't keep your character? Okay, avoid the leopard. I found him. Attack the leopard! Ah, dang it. Come on, come on. Give me give me rage, give me rage. Need more rage. Expert cat enthusiasts, still no access. How do you get access to beta? Mange Claw. You are mine! You have the whole private server. <laughs> That's true, you got the private server. Hey, knock me over. Don't knock me over. It's bad for my health. My account literally has characters from when Kata was retail and still none. Oh my gosh. Is it randomly decided, or do you have to apply for it? Yay! Yay! You need to opt in, and unless you are a streamer or some big shot, you don't get access. Oh. How long do they usually do betas? I've done the thing you asked. Oh, I leveled. Shoot. Thank you, Colby. I'm going to turn this quest in. And then I need to find a trainer. Are there any uh, warrior trainers in... Oh, nice. It's a better hammer. Uh, are there any warrior trainers in... In lock modem. It's not so much beta more as it's early access to drive buzz. I mean, that's true. I mean, beta tests a game that's already happened. It doesn't really make sense. Which makes sense why they give it to the content creators. Because they want to increase the publicity. You use abilities on Mange Claw Cheater. Wait, did I love... I thought I... Did I level from... Hang on. Combat log. It doesn't show me when I level, does it? Doesn't say. Yeah, I have no clue when I leveled. You leveled just before Mange Claw then killed him? Oh, shoot! You're right! Tell you what. Next time I do combat, it will be an auto attack only. Just to compensate. Actual beta testing of games hasn't happened for over 10 years. I mean, some of the games they release in early access are pretty bad, honestly. Oh, on the Snow Leopard. Oh, okay. Here. I promise the next thing I fight will be auto attack only. I will not use my abilities for the next thing I fight. Okay? Deal? Bet? All right? Perfect. Okay, back to using abilities. <clears throat> Beta will run for a while until like August 27th, my estimated launch day. 
Okay. That's such a long time. Well, it gives me a good chance to try and get wrath, get some wrath experience. It's just marketing strategy now. They don't want need our help testing. They're like, yeah, that's true. But I mean, with the quality of games they release nowadays, it gives them a good hint of what, how the community, like, it's an excellent way to test how badly the community will react to how poor, to the game quality. If it's like really glitchy or uh, something like that. Besides, the private server has less bugs at launch than what official classic beta has. Oh my gosh. Of course it does. Because people do what they want to instead of doing what they do. <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to say for that. You will get Wrath XP when you next do, do next re retail stream. Oh, that's true. That's true. I need to get like I need to watch like a summary of Cat of uh, Burning Crusades just so I can figure out what exactly happened. Cause I got like no story from playing through Burning Crusade. Oh, you are right. They need to bring back real testing. It would certainly help, but they realize they don't have to care. People are used bugging used to bugging releases now, and it's just expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why indie games are killing it. Uh, there's not a warrior trainer here, is there? Do I have to go back to Ironforge to do a warrior train? Let me see. Is there a guard here I can ask? It's not gonna. He's not gonna tell me. Him, is he? Hang on. There we go. Yeah, there's no actual guards that will give me directions here. So they no longer have to coordinate legions of testers. They just don't do it and don't care. Or they put it in early access and then just never release it from early access in order to give them an excuse for it to be buggy. Hey. Retail is hell on expansion launch days. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. What do you need training for? I oh wait, that's because I did, never got my level twelve abilities. I don't think. I don't think I ever got my level twelve abilities. Speaking of which, I should clear these out because I technically haven't spun the wheel yet. There we go. I beta tested WoW both closed and open back in the day. Hunting for bugs was fun. Oh, Q&A. That would be a blast. Talent spin too. Oh yeah, I got a new talent too. Thank you. Remind me after I spin for my skills. I have to go back to... Do to uh, wait, let me get the uh, griffin first. I think I have to go back to Ironforge in order to train. This takes me to Thunderbrew Distillery. Is that in Karanos or is that in Ironforge? Probably in Karanos. I reported like 50 SOD bots and got ma mail from a game master with a copy paste. Thank you for pointing a bot out thing. Of course. Game masters don't matter no more. All right, all right, let's fly to Iron Forge. Very good. Beta testing today at retail, you get your hand held and get limited to your main city and the content they are testing. I mean, saves them money, right? That's the whole goal. <laughs> it's not a test though it's just marketing you don't have ndas or real bug reporting these days oh so you're not really beta testing you just get to feel cool because you get to beta test you're beta testing 
You just are, it's just privileged access pretty much. I don't think I've ever beta tested a game except for open betas. I've done a couple open betas for MMOs, like newer MMOs that are coming out in the next like five years. It's early access to drive buzz. Simple as that. It's marketing. Did you ever do the query quests? No, I did not. I always forget those are a thing. Because it's like, it's not in the main Karanos area, and it's not in Loch Modan. So I always forget that's even there. That query is a death trap in hardcore. There you go. That's that's totally the reason. That's totally why I didn't do it. Yep, 100%. Uh, trainers. Uh, class trainer for warrior. See you soon. See you soon. Respawn rate is bad. Be careful. I, well, I'm not going to do it because I said I would do Lock Modan today, so I'm probably not going to do the query quests. So by the time I finish Lock Modan, I probably will be too high of level for it to really matter to do the query quests. I mean, I'm assuming the query quests are like about my level, right? They're about 12, 13 over here. Does this hurt to walk on? Yes, it does. <laughs> if that did more damage than it did, I would have been so scared. Warrior trainer, here we go. Why do you have a quest for me? Oh, a new weapon. Okay, let's spin the wheel. It's wheel spinning time. Enable all inputs. Let's see, is there anything? Anything we need to add? Like food wise. Uh, do I have the bread? I do not. So we need to add bread. Scroll of spirit. Uh, we got the jerky. I think that's all of it. That's all of them. Yeah. Buy three boar intestines, three spider ichor, and three boar meat to cheese the blood sausage quest. I mean, that's a good idea. That's genius. But w is it worth losing the XP I would get from grinding those mobs? All right, we got spin number one. We got auto attack, always. Always start with auto attack. And then after auto attack... Oh shoot, you know what I didn't do? I'll do the, I'll put jerky on. Um but I didn't add these ones. Overpower, battle shout. Oh, battle shout rank 2 I can just Okay. Overpower shield bash. That was totally misspelled. Oh, we already have battle shout. So I'll go ahead and train on that. <clears throat> also, Cat, thank you. We got ourselves Silvermane. Like the ad for EVE Online on the picker, I haven't played EVE in absolutely ages. Wonder how it's come along. I played e I've dabbled with EVE Online. Is it on here? Oh, I guess it must have moved on. I've dabbled in EVE Online, but never really played it with any sort of commitment. I enjoy it. I think if I want the kind of, like, deal that they have going i probably would do albion online um 
But Albion Online does not have the scale that EVE Online has. So. Okay. Uh, this is ability number two. First one was Jerky. It is a trade-off. Quest is normally green by the time I get to it since all 1 to 10 zone quests and hit 13 to 14 before going into a level 10 zone. Overpower and Shield Bash is good. Alright, well let's hope I get it. Lesser Health Potions is also good. Hopefully I just get that and I don't get also <laughs> normal health potions. I had a nice little mining setup going for a while. Made a fortune just specializing in mining the most common ore in the game. I mean, if you're an MMO fan, you gotta love grinding. And if you love grinding, then mining is perfect for you. Ability number three. Common enough, sure, but also a, co a component in pretty much everything anyone makes. Ma yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's a steady income. Alright, we got a kebab. Okay, we are... We do not need any more food. This is sufficient food-wise. Please do not give me anything else. Ability number... Four. We haven't gotten a single actual ability yet. Bread. We get all of the foods that I have. Dude, we're going to have no abilities from, at this point. Come on. Give me something. An ability of some kind. That's ability number... This is ability number five. We're shooting for 13. Shield Bash. Let's go. Train in that one. Be good. Shield Bash, we're going to put in... Right there. High choice. Spin. Blood Rage. Not an ability I use often, but... Useful in a clinch, in a clint, in a clinch, in a cinch. Okay, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I gotta get rid of this one too. Pumpkin. Do I have pumpkin still? I don't know if I still have pumpkin. I don't think I do. I think I ate it all. Okay, well, let's remove that one. Exit. Apple! Of course, it's another food! I'm so surprised! Why so much food? Also, vendor stuff. I need to vendor my stuff. I need to vendor my stuff. Apple. Spinneroo! Rend. Okay, okay. We actually have a decent ability here. Rend. Why do I have so much money? I don't know why I have so much money. I have like two and a half gold. I'm level 14. Find treasure. Okay, sure thing, boss. Uh, not incredibly useful, but I guess it has its uses. Um, when I gave you the two gold or whatever the time the dude proposed to us. Oh, that's right. Thank you. I was like, why do I have two gold? That's right, we got proposed to, and I said yes, I remember. I have a lot of money now. I have a lot of money now. Battle shout! We, that's our, we got our, our rank 2 battle shout. Battle shout rank 2. Okay, so we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Three more. Three more abilities. Dude, I am so short on actual abilities to use. I wonder if dude is still kicking it or if he kicked it. You never know with people these days. They like to kick things in this game. Uh, Thunderclap. All right. Got some AoE. Thunderclap. 
There we go. All right, now please, heroic strike. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Minor health potions. I don't need minor health potions. I'll just put him here because I can. Uh, do I have switch stance on here? I don't have switch stance on here. This uh, switch stance. I don't know if that if maybe I'm using an old wheel. If he died, he was not loyal and did yet didn't add you to his will. I know he should have, really. Hearthstone, okay, nice. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 abilities. We did not get a chance to use overpower, dang it. I'm going to get it anyway because I can. Uh... Was there something that's missing? I don't think so. Well, we get to try out Shield Bash at least, and our new version of Battle Shout. Okay, uh, there was a quest that I got for Warrior. He's in the Great Forge. Okay. Tormus Deep Forge. We got a. Where's the Great. What's over here? I guess we got, we're heading that way anyway because we got to fly back to Loch Modern. Should I get. I might want to get some better bags too. I mean, I have the money for it. Oh, he's in the middle. Pie vendor, buy my junk. Would you like to purchase something? No, I want to sell you my crap. Uh, sell, sell, sell. No, wait, no, 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 no. I want this. Yeah, this is better than what I have. Very well, then. There we go. Greetings from planet Earth. Sell that. 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 Oh, I don't. I don't think I had my wax stick on there either. I definitely was faulty in my wheel build this time. I'm gonna give this to somebody. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Yeah! All right, then. You can just press B to open all bags. It does not work. It does not work. I wonder if there's a option. Bag. Show free bag space. Oh. Oh, that does that. Okay. Shift B. Oh. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Shift best around. That's so useful. I was like, click, 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 click. I'm like, am I going to have to start rem remembering function keys for which bag's which? Oh, I need to turn this in. Hello, my friend. Umbral ore? Wait, what? What do I do here? 
Enter Iron Band's compound gr and avenge my master's death. Helm's Bed Lake in Eastern Dunmoreau. Over here? I'll save that for later. Or in keybind menu, you can just keybind open all to just B. I like shift B. Shift B work. Well, actually, no. That's actually smart. Uh, options. Open all bags. There we go. Yo yo! Hello, my good sir. Please return me to my place where I belong. Actually, I'm gonna go to the auction house. We're gonna go to the auction house. So I can sell this. I'm going to see if I can get bigger bags. And sell this stuff. And then we will go to Lock Modan. This is the wrong way. Oh no, it's not. It's well, it's kind of the wrong way. It's like mostly the wrong way. It's like 70 it's like 25% the wrong way. Anything else I should since I have two gold, anything I should splurge my money on while I'm going to the auction house? I wish I could buy a house, but Friggin' World of Warcraft can't friggin' buy houses. Okay. Uh, B. Yeah. Journeyman's stave. Should save it for a mount? <laughs> Why am I not surprised you said that, Thor? I have yet to survive long enough to own a mount. Journeyman's stave. What level is it again that you get a mount? Search. That doesn't exist. Jur oh, I, mean, I, I spelled it. Misspelled it. Journeyman's stave. You can buy a fully custom. I, I, yeah, I know. There's a lot of MMOs where you can buy fully customizable stuff. Uh, looks like it's. I could probably sell it for thirty silver. Buyout price, thirty. Twenty-five. Create auction. There we go. Also, my daily allergy attack. Cough, cough, fruitscape. Cough, cough, interspire. Cough, cough. <laughs> oh, wow. It must be real bad, uh, Colby. It's 90 gold if you have max rep with your faction. 100 otherwise. That is a lot of gold. But also, I've never survived to 30, let alone 20. That's why you gotta start, I mean, that's true, that's true. If I was gonna get it right at 40, I'd have to start saving soon. Become a bronze dragon, infinite stream time inside two hour window. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What's on your mind? Your Why save if you probably won't make it? I never save for one on HC. I mean, you gotta have a positive attitude, but you also gotta be realistic. 
since I never hit the 20s yet. What, Death? Are you saying that I've made more progress than you have in hardcore? Dude, I'm so... Let's just... That's awesome. <laughs> have to have faith in yourself. 40 isn't impossible. I mean, true. True. Okay, true. I mean, I don't know what I would spend two gold on anyway. So I might as well save it for now. I'll save it for now. 30 plus is where the game really begins ramping up. Really? So you're saying I haven't even got to the good part yet? Those quill board really held you down, I know. Actually, my highest leveled character is my SOD character at 25. Um, my highest hardcore is 20. My highest ever is 25. Except for retail, but we don't count retail. Just freeze a character at 40, then make a disposable alt to grind gold, and just mail all your gains to your main each day while the main is sitting in Stormwind. So wait, so my main would become my bank alt? And my bank alt would be the money, money winner? No, the hard part. 30 to 40 is a wall for a lot of classes. Oh boy, I haven't even hit 30. So you're saying I keep dying before I even hit the hard part? Wow, you're really helping my confidence here. Uh, let's get up quests. Oh, what can I do for you? You can give me a quest. Oh, give me a quail. Swear the buffalo rail. Stand the deer and the antelope play. I didn't even hit 40 in SOD with 100% XP buff and sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, I am not. Like, phase 3 is coming out in two weeks. I'm like, do I even try? Do I even try? I, I, I'm so unfamiliar with the game after 25. I don't think I'd be able to do it before the end of Phase 3, let alone the beginning of Phase 3. Okay, let's kill some boars. Oh, this is gray now. Abandoned quest. Okay, blood sausages, this one. Le Druid is one of set classes. Is Druid a really hard class to level? No, your alt would get them enough money to get a mount. Then keep leveling on main now that you can run away faster. <laughs> oh my gosh, who is wiping out this area? Let a man kill himself some boars, please. There is not a single... Warrior is really hard over 30. I think mine is sitting at maybe 35. It's been a while since I played. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Especially with not being able to die. I'm sure it gets harder and harder to not die as the time goes on. What is this? Is this a charging? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, I don't have a charging ability. No. Okay, fine. Oh, he dodged my shield bash. But I was prot, and that just levels low in classic. Prot is a paladin, right? Protection paladin. 50 to 60 is hardest part. Died so many times at, le at level 53 in West Plague Lands in the Northern Fellwood Man Bear people. Well, that makes sense. I mean, the highest levels would be the hardest levels. Let's eat some of this food and get rid of it. I'll eat the... Is this one? No, okay. Okay. 
Sunken Temple Raid is going to be lit. Is that the raid for Phase 3? Phase 3 starts next Thursday? Is that, is that soon? Next week? I liked Old Simple Sunken Temple a lot. Big and complicated and lots of fun. You guys are speaking another language, my friend. He blocked it, Dagnabbit. Sunken Temple where you can run through stair walls. Oh my gosh. And play golf? You can play golf and what? I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. What can't you do in World of Warcraft for real? He dodged! Don't dodge! That was a lot of rage I went through right there. That room where the trash packs turn into temporary invincible ghosts was killed has killed so many of my groups. Is is that on purpose or is that a bug? In hardcore, you need a character with lots of get getaway abilities to really level with any speed. Rogue is really good. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That would make sense why a paladin wouldn't level very fast. Because paladins... Um, don't really get away a lot. They usually just get hit. I'm at Sunken Temple level in Wrath. What, sunk, what level is Sunken Temple? The pathing slime boss will be interesting. Ooh, a slime? There are slimes in this game? Sword and board warrior protection is a spec for warrior. Oh! Okay, okay, that makes sense. So there is, is there, there's no such thing as a protection paladin? Or is there just protection for both? I keep wanting to charge, but you can't freaking charge in this game. There we go. Battle shout. Need more rage. There we go. I'm at that level two since 2019 vanilla classic when I got offered to tank ST, but I thought ST was Stratholm. What is ST? And Lakshmi, Paladin, Autocorrect. Oh, okay, it's not a warrior. It is a Paladin. Okay. Sword and Board plus Glad Stance will be a nightmare. You're not even all that tanky with the tank specs, but it's a fun challenge, I guess. Yeah, it would be hard to play Paladin Tank. Take a swim? Uh, I'm a little scared with what uh, Death was telling me. Golf video in Discord, 40 second video. Alright, I'll watch it. Wow, I already have the bear meat? Ah! That's a, it's a yellow bear? Why is there a yellow bear here? Oh, it's, it's red now. Okay. You are mine. Both. Oh, okay. They're both. They're both. Paladin and warrior. And bonk. There we go. There's a room in Sunken Temple where all the trash mobs turn into ghosts that can't be killed for like 20 seconds. Healing challenge basically, but bad if you don't know it'll happen. It's a mechanic, not a clit, a glitch. Dang! I didn't realize how many mechanics go into raid-like and dungeon-like uh, games. Or, I mean, parts of games. Until I played one in Wizard 101. It was a dungeon, and I was like, wow, I can't just throw spells at this guy. I, 
I actually have to figure out how he works and come up with a strategy on how to beat him. It was a little bit annoying, but also, I mean, I can see the appeal as well. Because once you figure it out, or Google it and look it up, then it's a lot of fun. Sunken Temple is like late 40s, early 50s. Oh. Okay. Hence, S-O-D, Sunken Temple. That makes sense. All right. Spider, Spider. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, but they're both level 10. I think I'll be fine. Rend. Shield Bash. Shield Bash doesn't actually do much damage. It's really only useful for interrupts, I think. Come at me, bro. Let me shield bash you, even though it doesn't really hurt. Nice. Oh, I can't loot him. Dang it. I keep seeing these plants and wanting to harvest them, but I don't have herbalism. If you use an AO ability, AOB, AOE ability in the entrance area of Undercity, you will die to nothing. Really? Really? I want to try that. I like sitting in that entryway listening to the voices from Warcraft 3. Also makes me want to replay that sometimes. Wait, is that... You can hear voices in the entryway of Undercity? I've never really paid attention. Dude, that's cool. And they're from Warcraft 3. I will definitely have to play. I, I really need to play Warcraft 3. I have decided I'm going to kind of give up on trying to play the game to figure out the lore. I'm just going to play the games and enjoy the games. And <laughs> have you guys help me figure out what, the world, what in the world the lore is. It's quiet and super creepy slash cool. Dude, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Let me grab these. This stuff. Don't parry it. <clears throat> it's a Warcraft 3 spoiler though. I, I, I honestly... With how much lore is in this game, I'm like, I don't know if I have the brain capacity to be able to figure out what the lore is just from playing the game. I guess Warcraft 3 is probably pretty good at telling the story, though. You can hear the cheers and bell. Oh, it's the scene where Arthas comes home. Oh my gosh. So it's like a... Well, it's either creepy or you're interpreting it as like the city remembering the good things that happened in it. It's like reminiscing on good times. Like, oh, I'm remembering what it used to be like. She hasn't played it yet? Well, I did watch 23 minutes of Warcraft lore. So I did kind, I kind of know what you're talking about. I have a very, very, very vague idea of what you're talking about. I always mute my background music for it. Arthas did nothing wrong. He was a victim. A victim of a helmet. Right? Right? Come on, I just need one, two more spider, Ikor. Where have all the spiders gone? He was just thorough. The purging was actually a good decision. Is that the one he killed all the undead? Where's the spiders? Tell you what, the Arthas novel is really good and lore pack. There's an Arthas novel? Oh, have you guys seen the trailer or the fan-made trailer for the uh, Arthas, for an Arthas TV show? It looks really good. Uh, yeah, I keep trying to charge him, but you can't. I've read the Arthas novel so many times, the only Warcraft book I have. Christy Golden? Who's Christy Golden? 
Sounds like somebody significant. Finally, two of three. Okay, one more, one more. Aha, I found you. Nobody else take you. You're mine. Arthas died when he took up Frostborn, his heart at the bottom of some frozen lake thing. He was manipulated by a dreadlord. Freaking loser. The author, if you want to look for it. Christy Golden. Okay, hang on. Let me grab this last Iker. It looks like I have several things I need to do. And then I will... I'll watch the clip. And then look up Christy Golden. Bonk! Nice. Dang it! One more! Spider, where are you? Arthas purged his own city, Stratholme, because the cities probably ate infected grain. That would have turned them into zombies, but everyone thought he was wrong to do that on an assumption. How did... Wait. Is it an assumption? I mean, it was right. How, how did he figure it out? Did he just have a dream or something? Arthas was a paladin, swapped to warrior with blinded bloodlust to avenge Stratholme, and then swapped to Death Knight. Dude, that's a crazy man. I want to do that. Can I become Arthas? Except for without the whole being evil part. Ah, dang it. Come on, I got this. I got this. Don't run away. Yeah! Oh, I still didn't get the spider icker! I'm gonna eat this kebab real quick. He really purchased the talent reset! <laughs> Arthas was the beginning of the talent reset. He create. I actually don't know when the talent reset became a thing. Once upon a time, Blizzard knew how to make deep, well-thought-out, complicated villains. So <laughs> once upon a time, they were good. Finally, Spider Ecker. Okay, let's head into town, and then I'll go look up Christy Golden and watch that clip. Arthas is my favorite. He sounds kind of like a... Anakin, if Anakin wasn't a whiny child. It's like the way Anakin should have been. Okay. Clip is in Discord. I mean, Z Zalatath is a decent one that they are actually doing a multi-expansion story for. What is this one? What is this a clip of again? The golf? Oh yeah, golf, 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 that's right. Thankfully, Chris Metzen is back to control the score story. Yeah, being a spoil spoiled whiny brat was Anakin's motivation to be evil. <laughs> yes! And it's one of his best, greatest strengths. I mean, that's like how he joined the dark side, right? He joined the dark side by being a spoiled whiny brat. Hang on, let me pause my music. Okay. Oh, it's Weaver! That's kind of sus. That's the guy from the Shattered Hand. The red aspect? You're, ju you're just saying it because of this. Okay, like... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking coat. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. Making that the core motivation of the world's most iconic villain just pissed me off. Oh, yeah, I know. Darth Vader is one of the coolest villains in existence, really. He's one of the most coolest. Most maximum coolness equals Darth Vader. Dude, what's this doing? What's this, what's this, what's this guy looking at? Okay, yeah, have your fun. Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to look up Christy Golden. I would be so mad if I died like that. That would I think it would be so funny, honestly. Christy Golden. Oh, she wrote Star Wars stuff? Warcraft, 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 Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. I mean, Warcraft. Warcraft, Warcraft, Warcraft. Assassin's Creed, Warcraft. Wow, she has quite the uh, nerdy ex background. Dang. <clears throat> if you want somebody who knows their stuff, she def oh wrong wrong window. She definitely would be the one. Writes a lot of books and a ton of Warcraft in particular. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, it sounds like she knows her lore if she uh, writes that much. So, definitely a reliable source. Vanilla to Wrath was based at the end of the Third War. She made most of the... She made most of the lore? Wait, is she like actually make canon content? Or does she... I mean, I guess she probably does, but... Does she invent the content or does she tell just retell it? She made it into lore. Oh, okay, okay. She makes she makes What? Those books are canon? Both? Oh, 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 oh. She does all the she's just lore incarnate, basically. Every expansion a new book releases along with it for lore. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of reading! I kind of want to read the Arthas one, though, because he's kind of... He sounds cool. I mean, World of Warcraft version of Darth Vader, basically. I'm never going to un... I'm never going to unsee that now. I got to turn this quest in. I went into the place to turn the quest in, and I didn't even turn the quest in. And some of the lore is only in her books. Oh! So if you want to really know... So if I read her books, do you think that would give a good comprehension of the exp of the uh, history of World of Warcraft or do you think it would be missing some stuff that you have to play the game to get uh, there she is Vindra I've the finest wares in the land okay now it's Rat and Trog hunting time. That's where I lost track of the lore, mind you. It's all too much. There is a lot of lore in this game. Basically, all the armies arriving on planet. Super cool looking. Wait, what? What is all of armies arriving on planets? Seriously? You want the lore? Here is where to go. Oh, he is where to... Wait, are you trying to say here is where to go or he is where to go? Nobel's Lore Channel. I have heard that name. I feel like many people have mentioned. Like Redacted had a book called Shadows Rising. BFA had Before the Storm. End of Mist has the War Crimes 1, etc. Flying Buttress is a good channel. He turns the books into visual audiobook. Oh, that's cool. I missed one. Hey, what did I miss?
so many videos oh my gosh <laughs> that's one problem with getting into all this stuff so late in the game is i have a lot of catching up to do a lot of catching up to do yo you come beat me up so i can beat you up yeah 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 you want to fight you want to fight huh 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 let's fight Yeah. Just start with the first one and you can just listen rather than have to watch. Okay, good. So I don't have to watch the video because that's one of the hardest things I have with reading and watching is I'm like, I'm doing stuff. Like I watch stuff when I'm eating and I listen to stuff when I'm driving. Otherwise, I'm like, I want to be doing something with my hands, like playing games or, or working on my or working on YouTube. Come on, Stone Splitter Scout. Oh my gosh, he's ranged. Freaking annoying. There we go. None of my chats are going through now. What is going on? Uh, cool Star Wars animation in DC. I saw that. I dismissed that one. Is DC what I said? Chat didn't go through for some reason. Oh, okay. I saw that I saw that one. I don't know why the other one didn't go through. Did you hit the hundred percent too many times, Kobe? Or the hundred? You prepare to be defeated. Nobel's voice is like butter to the ears. Well, that's not... Colby, that doesn't mean you do it. It's not going to fix the problem if you break your phone even more. There we go. Stone Tooth's achieved. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to check out some of his stuff. When I'm in between podcasts. I'm sad that they don't have... Oh, what? Oh, okay, whatever. I'll help you out, dude. Uh... Oh yeah, I'm kind of sad that they don't have very many streaming podcasts. Like, they have podcasts by streamers, and they have podcasts about YouTube, but they don't have very many podcasts about, like, the business of live streaming. Phone's broken, of course. Phone's not broken! Hey! Now, the scouts, they have range. They will kill you if you are low. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Uh, I'm gonna hit this guy. I can't charge! What are you doing, dude? He like... He like hit one and then ran. He's like, oh wait, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I was trying to help, but yeah, no way that's happening. I am not gonna attack those guys, because there's like four ranged. I'll attack this guy on top of the hill. Oh, lived on a mountain on top of the hill. Stone split or trog. Yeah. You see how many were after him? I would avoid that camp like the plague. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I yeah, I'm not I'm gonna go I'm not gonna go in there. In wait, what? 
Oh, I thought that said Infinity Gauntlets. I was like, why do they have Infinity Gauntlets? Oh, that's better than what I have. Can't do that while in combat? I'm not in combat. There we go. I was like, wait, you can pick up the Infinity Gauntlets in the random drop in the middle of Classic Hardcore? You should pick, wait. You should pick up a gun. It helps with pulling single targets. You need a ranged weapon to pull. Can these guys, can warriors use ranged weapons? Or do I have to train it? Jinx. <laughs> Also, earlier I put a pick in Discord playing tribute to Sun Human in the Kata version of the cave. I saw that one. That was funny. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, I don't think that. I don't think I can trust that. Come at me, bro. There we go. Now I can fight you. Using throwing weapons better? Where would I get throwing weapons? I've never I've never even used throwing weapons before. You can train gun skill in Iron Forge. Throne is totally better. Where do I have to train for throne? Until later when ranged weapons have stats, when it becomes a stat stick. Valid. But then you don't need a train in it, right? Well, yeah, I guess you do. It won't let you equip it if you're not trained in it. If you can find one, high-level ranged weapons are rare. As heck. I mean, <laughs> that's assuming I hit high level. What is this? Do I have a quest here? Oh, it's a battered chest. My fine treasure is activated. I just need a lot more of everything. From general... Oh, wait. You can get throne weapons from general vendors? Main weapon trainers will have throne skill. Looks like we're heading to Ironforge, folks. I'm going to call at least level 20 on Grumpy Mate. Minimum or Maximum. Might be a record with how well it's going. <laughs> I've gotten higher. No, wait, I haven't. Not in hardcore. That would be a record. Level 20 would be a record. What's on your mind? Iron Forge. Rogues use Throne and they get better ones as you gain levels. But Warriors can train Throne too. Alright, I'll train Throne. But then is, wouldn't it just become a trade-off? Well, I guess I can just throw and then back up, right? Because I was going to say, it would, it would just become a trade-off of thrown weapons. But Not the case. We can now blame Colby if a death happens. Yeah. It's just for pulling. Oh, okay. If I die before level 20, it's SW Colby's fault. I'd say max like 30 to 40 once you hit the wall, but then on your next character you'll know what to, more what to expect. Uh, 25, I think. If I if I hit 25, then my ignorance will start to hamper me and I'll start getting in trouble. Don't need anything more than the tap. Damage is irrelevant. Oh, okay. All right. So just get really cheap thrown weapons, and then just bonk them on the head. Ah, wait, what, what was the song? I don't remember. There was a song about bonking on the head. But I don't remember what it is. Something about a bunny bonking on the head. It's a children's song. Just getting one stack is fine. 200 will last forever. I mean, I just need it for uh, pulling, right? So I might as well just get... How much is 200? I mean... 60... Wait, how much is in a stack? Weapons trainer. Okay. 
Like 10 copper? Oh my gosh, that's cheap. Only need one a mob? Oh, okay. Alright. Good to know, good to know. That way you can probably start to pick apart the camps and get manageable numbers. <laughs> you mean I can actually succeed, maybe? Okay, don't walk on the burning hot coal. Advice for self. Note to self. Four mobs on that guy. That was that was crazy. What is he doing? I guess he was... I think he did do a, a ranged attack, didn't he? Over here. Just be ready for social aggro. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's not guaranteed that they won't pull him solo. They're stupid cheap. Basically just ammo. Okay. Throne weapons it is. Weapon master. Talk to me. Uh, fist weapons? Wait, fist? are fist weapons a thing? Is there a... Is there a... Uh, class that... Tr that's specializes in fist weapons wait there was another weapon trainer where's the other weapon trainer oh there he is Hi, or she you? is might have to go to darnassus for throne no it's right here darnassus trainer only one who trains throne no it, yeah it's right here Fist weapons and basic vanilla basically don't exist. Why are they training in them then? Is that just unarmed combat? All right, then. Why would somebody want to train in fist weapons? Is it just for RP purposes? <laughs> just for role playing sake? Same with pole arms. Wait, there are pole arms in this game? Also, next time you see four bobs running towards someone, maybe don't go that way. They can peel off and decide to attack you pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, probably smart. Yeah, probably don't head in the same direction as the mob of monsters. That's probably a good idea. I, well, I, was, the, the, I was hoping I could just grab one or two, and then I could get my kill. But I probably would have gotten, like, three if I did that. Fine. I won't charge into large masses of monsters when I'm in danger of losing my character after one death. Oh, wait. I gotta buy. Uh, I gotta buy the throne weapons. I probably should have bought them from the weapon vendor, right? I was just there, Nagnabbit. There are pole arms in Enterspire. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's crazy. Definitely play it just right now. I have... Okay. Pole arms are awesome. Pole arms are cool. I've never been a pole arm guy myself. <clears throat> I'm always about that magic, and if there is no magic, I'm about that sword. Like, the only ones that are good so far apart, fist weapons never become relevant. Maces and staves. Weapon merchant. Never become relevant until monks become a thing. Oh. Make, makes no sense why they would have it then. Repair all. There's no thrown weapons. Ah, here we go. Even then, monks just use stat sticks and just use the fists. Oh, they don't even equip fist weapons. I think the level 40 hunter weapon in classic is a pole weapon if memory serves. Really? That's very late in the game to start getting into pole weapons. Late! What's going on? Welcome in! We're doing some World of Warcraft in here. Uh, we're going to go just the cheap ones, right? Busy day? How am I? Good stuff, man. It's been a it's been a good day today. It's been a good day. Did I do anything cool today? Not much. What happened today? I worked. And I came home and read manga. 
Oh, I, I tried that one uh, anime you recommended, Thor. I watched the first episode of it. The Magica one. What manga? Oh, I guess it's not a manga, it's a webtoon. I was reading it on webtoon. It's called... Oh, wait, I gotta, where am I going? Oh, I gotta go fly back to lock one down. What is it called? Okay, I read a webtoon and a manga. So the manga I read is called Isekai Kokunaki. Hang on, let me get on my my uh, the bird and I'll I'll check. Can I already use what? Oh my gosh, wait. I missed so many messages. The new Minecraft weapon has me wanting to play it again. There's a new Minecraft weapon? It is a mace that does more damage the further you fall. It also negates fall damage. What? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'd love to play it. I'd love to do so the Minecraft MMO. Or just Minecraft in general. Uh... Demon Hunter uses fist weapons a bit, but mostly just that and Warglaives. Okay. Like when I raided in Season 1 of Dragonflight, my best weapon was a spear that forever stayed on my back. <laughs> my best weapon was a weapon I never used. Cool, I love play WoW. My fellas play a lot of Lich King. Let's go! This is, uh, this is hardcore. Classic hardcore. What do I think? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, I just saw the first episode. I don't think there's enough of it for me to judge. But it seems interesting. Uh, like, basically nothing happened. I didn't expect it to be just a 12 episode anime though. I thought it would be more. Lich King is awesome. I love to play Paladin and Hunter. Push the aggro. There we go, man. There we go. I'm playing a warrior. It was decided by a spin of a wheel. I usually play Paladin and Mage. Just because Paladin's the easiest to play in Hardcore, and I just love Mages so much. May 31st, I'm going to play the Wrath Private Server when it launches. Basically, Wrath Plus. Adding Aetish and a few other legendaries. Transmog. Can you Transmog in Wrath? I usually play Paladin. Also have a Death Knight. Let's go, Paladin! Can you already use the throne weapon you just bought? It looked like you could. Yes, I can. I mean, I already... Tra I just... I trained in it before I bought it. I trained in throne weapons. So I, I bought the... So I went and I bought the throne weapon skill. And then I went back to the griffin. And then I went back and bought the throne weapon. So I was already trained in it. Cannot stay much time. It's 1.30 a.m. Dude! <laughs> go to bed! Dragon's Dogma 2 push? Oh my gosh, I want to play Dragon's Dogma 2, but my computer is so bad. Ugh. I, should we play Dragon's Dogma 1 uh, on stream? That one I tested, and it does work on my terrible computer. Dragon's Dogma 1 works on my computer. Let's go pull some bobs. Transmog is added in Kata. Oh, okay, so next season. My WoW timeline went Hunter, Torin Wrath, Hunter, Cata Blood Elf on my own account, DK, Blood Elf, Mage, Human, Demon Hunter, Night Elf, Monk, Blood Elf. My WoW timeline is all over the place because I kept dying in hardcore. <laughs> I don't even know what my... I guess I still have my characters. Oh, I was going to check and see what manga I was, I was reading. Let me, let me check. Hang on. Okay, so I'm reading... Isekai Kenkoku-ki. K-E-N-K-O-K-U-K-I. And then on Webtoon, I was reading... Time Limited... Wait. Time Limited Genius Dark Knight. Those are the two I'm reading right now.
They pack a lot of crazy into that short series, I have to say. It starts slowly but gets intense, does it? Alright, well, I'm gonna try it. I mean, it's short enough that I don't mind watching an episode every day. I'm, my, Me and my brother are watching through solo leveling and Mashal, but he is on a uh, TV show hiatus right now, so we're not watching it, so I need something else to watch. So I will definitely continue watching the Magicka one. Warrior is cool. I'm friends of the best warrior of Brazil. I'm one of the best of the world. No way, dude! That's so cool! I definitely don't know anybody that good. You're not... They're not adding it to Wrath, I'm pretty sure. Just waiting for Kata. Oh, okay. Somehow missed you buying the training. Yeah, I was in a jumbled mess of everything. Yes, DD1. It's amazing. All right, all right. We'll have to do it on stream at some point. It is the private server I'm going to be playing. Oh, they have transmog on the private server. I see. Play Mystic Knight, go cannon, and brrrr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always want to play Mage. I heard that the magic in DD1 uh, is, like, the coolest in the game, but it's really war really weak endgame. Where are these trogs I'm supposed to be hitting? Wait a minute, guys. I have a throne weapon. Wait, does it... Is there an auto attack for thrown weapons? What do you What do you guys think? Should throw be a part of the wheel? Should throw be part of the wheel or should I just have it by default? I think it might want to be part of the wheel. Isekai, you died and go to Susano Sao Paulo and work in the market with a $20 salary? Is that actually... Good manga that I'm reading. You died and go to Suzano Sao. Is that an actual manga or are you just making it up? Because mangas have such long names these days. You know me. I'm a self-described best evoker in the world. I'm the best dyer. I'm the best hardcore dyer in the world. Arc, Mage, and Mystic are... <laughs> Are they that bad? I really want to play them, though. I love casting spells in games. And the Magic Archer. They are broken and fun. Put the trailer in the Discord of the private server. Wrath has so much features. Tor is weak. Wait, Tor. What is Tor? It should, but test it now. Okay. All right. We'll test it now. We'll test it now. We will try it for the sake of experimentation. If I can freaking figure out where I am. Where are these guys? Oh, they're over here. All right, we will test it now, and then we'll put it on the wheel. It's joking. I live in a city called Cezano. Oh, okay. I was like, what? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Yeah! Now come over here. Please, please come over here. Don't tell me he's throwing through. He's throwing through the, the ground. Okay, well, I pulled him enough, so now I can actually attack him. All right, so we can use it. It's super easy. Problem is I don't have it because it's not on my, my wheel. Uh, I didn't spin it on my wheel. But yeah, now I have it, so I can put it on my wheel for pulls. Wrath private server also has a built-in hardcore mode. I feel like a lot of private servers have hardcore mode, even before WoW came out with a hardcore mode. Like the Japanese god. Wait, really? There's a Jap Japanese god called Suzano? And there's a city in Brazil by that name? That's cool. That's cool. Stealth Archer, go! Isn't Stealth Archer a Skyrim thing? Or is there Stealth Archers in... Uh, in Dragon's Dogma? This. Stealth Archer, go! Yes! Make sure you use it at max range for best pulling. Oh, okay. I will do that. I will remember that. 
did it on one of the ranged mobs. <laughs> well, aren't these all ranged mobs? Are there any that aren't ranged mobs in the trogs? They're all ranged. They're all scouts. I guess there's some stone splitter trogs and stone splitter scouts. But this would be the only one I'd be able to pull. I should probably actually try so I don't die. Whoo! That was close. That was close. Okay. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition or a stealth archer. Skyrim, it's like, every hey, everything it's weak besides Stealth Archer. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And yet I still play a mage. I still play a wizard. And I don't just use Fireball all the time. I only use Fireball when I'm fighting a boss that's actually hard. I try and diversify my spells as much as possible. Because I want to, you know, be a mage. And that's what they do. Okay. There we go. Not enough rage. We'll get more rage, Dagnabbit. Get with the program. Stealth Archer works in a lot of games. Valid. Valid. I mean, it's a, it makes sense. You just stealth and then you shoot. <clears throat> in Dragon's Dogma, it has a stealth called... Or a class called Magic Archer. It's the best damage dealing. Oh. Nice. RuneScape has a hardcore mode called Iron Man. I have heard of that. Scouts are ranged. Trogs are melee. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because there's two options over here on the quest. But I can't pull them because I don't have the thrown weapon. Or stealth silenced gun if no bow. My current Fallout 4 build is stealth with silenced pistol. Oh my gosh. That is so OP. Do you, can you just like headshot him? Like super one-shot him? Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Stealth Link is the most powerful build. Sounds like Stealth Archer is just OP all around, honestly. Come at me, bro. Run! And yes, Sizano is a really real city. Brazil have more Japanese people than Japan itself. Oh, shoot. There's like three of them. There's four of them. Four of them coming at me. Run, 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 run. So it's pretty common. Cities have Japanese names or parts of cities with a lot of Japanese. Really? There's more Japanese in Brazil than there is in Japan? Is that for real? It's kind of like in America. There's more Hispanics than white people. So the Japanese culture here is huge. And yes, we love Goku. Yep, you can't have a Japanese culture without good, a good amount of Goku. And One Piece. How is the One Piece culture there in Brazil? Because it's like everywhere in Japan from what I've heard. Dragon Ball is the best. Sad to hear the creator passed. I know that was too bad. I never really got into Dragon Ball. I'm thinking of just getting into Dragon Ball Z and not even worrying about watching the original show. And just watching Dragon Ball Z. <clears throat> wow, Iron Man is floor loot only or white gray items only, which gets insanely hard. That, oh my gosh, yeah, that sounds insanely hard. Why did they call it Iron Man? Is it because of the, I don't think it's because of the superhero. Is it because of the marathon? If I come from behind, will I attract the ranged people? Probably, yep. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to quick check and see if there's any stragglers wandering around. And if not, then I'm going to go hunt some rats. <clears throat> the pistol is semi-auto. It fires as fast as you pull the trigger. You can empty a 12-shot clip into them at point-blank range from stealth. It's awesome. Oh, my gosh. That would be so cool. Rat hunting time. Yes, it's for real. Huge. Luffy is like a hero. Luffy is the bomb. One Piece is my favorite anime. 100% my favorite anime. 
And he is Brazilian in the lore. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Luffy is Brazilian. Let's go. Brazil represents. Guy's going to play LOL and go to sleep. God bless all of you. Hey, late. Thanks for popping in. We'll be going back to doing D&D &D stuff on uh, Friday. So, if you want to pop in. And for the Alliance! I mean, today. And then next time, it'll be for the Horde. <laughs> the Trog melee ones are mainly in the ravine. Wait, what ravine? This Is this the ravine? These are rats. Well, actually, it's RS. That It's just hardcore, but the Iron Man mode in RuneScape is basically self-found, and it's because Iron Man didn't like to rely on others. Is that why? Because Iron Man didn't like to rely on others? I remember doing Iron Man in WoW to try and add some challenge back in. White, gray only. It was pretty fun. I don't think I would notice a difference, just because I don't pay as much attention to my gear as I should. And for democracy, <laughs> if you are a great, a true citizen of the great planets of Super Earth. <laughs> Be defeated. There we go. No rat ears, dang it. The ravine is near where you got the quest. Oh, okay, I'll check it out. Wait, I got the quest outside of Loch Modan. Is, is it still, is it outside of Loch Modan? This is when most people were using heirloom items and everything was set to easy mode. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I have to make, have to make it hard again. I mean, some of the challenges I... Oh, there's a guy here. It's just a random trog. Hello. Will you be my friend and be die? Have you gotten any green or blue gear yet in Classic? Makes a huge difference in stats. I don't think I have yet. Yeah, you better run and let me beat this guy. Of course it didn't work, Dagnabbit. There we go. Give me a tooth, please. Dang it, no tooth. Okay. And I'm going to eat the last of the kebab. Where you get the indifference one south on the road a little when you get when you first got to Loch Modan, you pointed it out. Oh, over there. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Nothing beats the four strength, four stem leather belt. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, we'll go around the spider. We're gonna go beat up some trogs then. Now I wanna fight some rats. I'm gonna fight some rats until I run out and then we'll fight trogs. Run! Okay, there's two of them, but I think I can handle it. If I can't, I will run. Need more rage. Need more rage. There we go. Now beat this guy up. If you drag your health bar down a little in the UI, we could see it. It's hidden by the blue bar. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Yeah, I uh, have been making major mistakes, so I'm glad you guys haven't seen it. I will move it. I'll just move the blue bar. Well, now you guys can't see. Oh, maybe I'll move it. How do you, how do, you do that? How do you move it? Move frame, unlock frame. There we go. Now it's still where I can see it, but it's also where you guys can see it. And then I'll move the enemy frame as where the move this one as well. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, Kobe lost a roll to one. Pally pulling those things is gonna get you killed, just saying. I don't talk about it. I don't talk about it. <sighs> I don't have thrown weapons, though. That's the only way I can pull them. I guess I could just ignore them and go get these guys over here. Because there's some, there's some rats over here, right? Put my new druid transmog on Discord in the private server. So holding a 2H sword and a book as a druid. What's a 2... Oh, a two-handed sword and a book. Oh, so a two-handed in one hand and a book in another. Okay. There's a reason Paladin shouldn't pull. <laughs> well, I mean, they have the they have the stats to tank it. I, I don't, for sure. Do I have a taunt available? No, I don't have any taunt abilities. Oh, I should speaking of T words, I should roll for my talent. Uh, let's get on the road real quick. Uh, actually, I'm going to fight this rat, and then we will roll for my talent. Being a prop pally was easy when I was leveling it. So much self-heal. Yeah, there, uh, Baladin has a lot of healing abilities. I think you'll need to switch specs. When you say specs, what do you mean? Do you mean like my talents? Okay, I'm going to stand here on the road where this guy is. And... Uh... Duplicate. Remove all inputs. Proceed. I'm just going to do one, five, seven. I'm going to do one through seven on the wheel, just for ease, sake of ease. Got to kill a paladin three times. To get a taunt, I think you need to be protection spec. I am random spec is what I am. Done. Four. One, two, three, four. Booming voice. Increases the area of effect of my battle shout. That does not help because I'm not fighting with other people. I was showing up this other guy in the Tanaris Elite Arena quest. 50 elites. Other person there kept dying while I was killing their elite and my own at the same time. Even easy at level 12 when I did RFC solo. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to try soloing a dungeon on one of my higher level characters. I want to say that I can do, I've done it. Even though it's probably like something everybody does, I still want to be able to say I've done it. Paladin is annoying. You kill them, but they use lay on hands. You kill them again, and they know you can't win, so they bubble hearth. <laughs> to kill a paladin, you need to take their health bar once. Then they lay on hands, you take their health bar twice, bubble heal, then you kill them. <laughs> Talk about tanky. Talk about tanky. Do it on your SOD character. That's a good idea. Next time we do SOD, I'll solo a dungeon. Uh... Let him in. Get angrier then. They do burst divine shield, the lesser bubble, and then heal them. Oh my gosh. Friggin' invincible, those paladins. At least it's, they know how to play, unlike me. Or jump on their stupid horse and book it. When do they get, uh, they get a horse earlier level, right? Than everyone else? I got a short sword. This guy's stealing. This is the guy that stole five mobs at once. Ah! I hate charge abilities. Unless I'm the one using them. Is there one up here? He's got a cross. No, he doesn't. Okay, good. <clears throat> A 
Level 25, which is a good level to try to solo RFC. Oh, it lasts for three minutes now. That's nice. You can run, but you can't hide. Not earlier, but it's free. Oh. And Kata, Blood Death Knights are annoying. Why are they annoying? Just a quest? Quest takes quite a bit of time and some gold. It's cheaper, though. Comparatively. Yeah, they're comparatively free. They don't cost 100 gold. I might need to whip out my Paladin then again if I want to do Hardcore. With any sort of decency. Like in PvP, they have Leech on their attacks. And a Bone Shield, which is annoying to deal with. What's special about a Bone Shield? Does it do like Thorn damage or something? That 100 gold price tag in Vanilla just hurt. Oh, I'm sure. Ugh. Especially like your first time, you're not expecting it. And then you're like... You, like, have, like, two gold, and then you're like, oh. I have to spend a hundred gold to get a mount? Freaking sticking around at level 40 forever trying to get a hundred gold. That's what I thought, eh? That's what I thought. I know that Shield Bash does hardly any damage, but, like, it's the only other uh, damage-dealing ability I have. So I might as well use it. Basically immune for a few attacks and then they can redo it. Oh my gosh. So it's just endless invincibility. I like Ret Pally. A lot less complicated, at least in Wrath, than Death Knights. Good to know. I don't think I ever went with a specific spec when I played Paladin. I just kind of picked what I liked. My guild all chipped in to get our guild leader his mount at level 40. It took the rest of us till 60. Ugh, so you couldn't get your mount until you were max level? I want to see. I think I've been up here before, but... Yeah, there's no way I can get up here. Oh, yeah, I can. Hey! But there's nothing up here. I think I've been up here before, but there's nothing. I am on top of the world looking down, down on creation. He deserved it, though. He was the nest guild leader. I, oh, the best guild leader I ever had. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, that's awesome. I've never actually been in a guild where I actually participated. I've always just joined because people invited me. DK got nerfed to hell from what I heard. Originally, they were so overpowered and held like a self-revive that allowed them to turn into a goal for, several, for some seconds. And it hits hard. Oh, my gosh. It's so overpowered. Sounds like a cesspool... <laughs> yeah. I have a blood decayed retailer. He's a monster. Unkillable. I have a death knight. She's like level 5. <laughs> In SOD, only gold my GM wanted was to make the guild end. Tabard and that's it. I mean, respectable. I'm sure he probably didn't demand the gold for it. They probably gifted it to him. Wait, what happened? My chat just scrolled up for some reason. Stupid amount of self-healing. <laughs> Good to know. So if you want to be indestructible, play Death Knight. Ah, uh, yeah, when your Warlock was in a DC loop. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's where she, I made my Death Knight. I don't know what happened, but somehow I got undone. Okay, let's go get some more teeth. I'm going to jump between the ears and the teeth for until I get them both. And it's got that thing where the mouse, more enemies you face, the more you heal yourself. It's hard to find an upper limit of mobs. Oh my gosh. So basically when you're a death knight like that, it's, or a, what did you call it? A blood death knight. It's better to be overwhelmed. I don't really want to deal with this bear, even though it's, like, weak now. 
Okay, it's not weak. It's two levels below me. Plus Army of the Undead where you summon like 10 ghouls that fight for 10 to 15 seconds. Oh my gosh! I want that now! I guess uh, Warlock has is pretty cool summoning in retail too. But Necromancer, uh, that's probably the closest thing you'd give to a Necromancer, right? Except for the one you, well, in the private server you're, you're talking about. You were talking about death. Uh, are there trogs over here? Yeah, there are, but. It's weird coming from this side. I don't recognize this area until I saw the big hill. Yes! Why? Protection Warrior and Legion felt like that. You just want wanted more and more mobs. Come on, not enough, not enough. Swamp me, swamp me, swamp me. Come on. I remember clearing entire camps of even level mobs as Protection Warrior in Legion. Oh my gosh. That would feel so awesome to just wipe out an entire camp single-handedly of your level. Horrible in Pv PvE, though, as it pulls threat and rotates bosses. I was kicked from a siege in Orgamar, Transmog, Run in Warlords because of it in, on Dino Boss. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, it probably is pretty annoying for pulling threat. You just pull them all, it was insane. That is so cool. You just got like a, an army convoluting on you, and you just like wipe them out. That is so cool. Yeah, you better run. Dang, still only two or still short two teeth. Okay, I don't want to deal with the spider and this trog. I knew that was going to happen. Come on. Yeah! No teeth still! I pissed off a lot of other players though. I would pull everything before I noticed anyone else was there and people don't like that so much. Yeah, I can see why. I mean, if you're trying to beat up a mob and somebody pulls all of them, that would be annoying. Is this where you spawn when you die in regular hardcore? This, I feel like this is where you probably spawn. But it's just a decoration in hardcore. In regular retail. A regular wow. Did the same when leveling Prot Pally on the Cata server. Just pull 5 to 10 mobs using AoE thing. Con Consecration and Pop World of Glory to heal. Judgment to regen mana faster than you use it. Oh my gosh. Did the same on official solo self found launch. Dude, that's cool. That's cool. Dude, we're so close to leveling. We'll be hitting 14 next stream. <clears throat> Dang, we got a lot done today. Learned about throne weapons. Uh, talked about Dragon's Dogma 1. And Luf I mean, it's a good stream if you talk about One Piece in the stream, right? 
I was Hunter, so I was serpsting, pulling like five mobs at a time in Bandit area of Northshire Abbey. Oh my gosh! I would, I guess Solo Cell found, it's not, wait, it, it is hardcore. I guess it could be either. I would not, I would be so scared to pull five mobs in hardcore. Wouldn't be able to do it. Wouldn't be able to do it. Unless they're all, like, five levels below me. <laughs> yeah. uh, I might be able to hit to 20 with my guy, with my character. I might actually be able to get to level 20. That'd be crazy. Of course, the leveling's gonna slow as we continue, but... Um, so... Friday is our next stream. We'll be doing, going back to playing the D&D &D game that we were playing. The maze D&D &D game. I think, for now, tentative plan is playing Warcraft games on Wednesdays. And then the other stuff I'm still trying to figure out. But Wednesdays, for now, is going to stay Warcraft stuff. Subject to change. Uh, my channel's in a very transitory time right now, so it's uh, everything's subject to change. Slow is less likely to get you killed. Taking it slow is good in hardcore. Well, I'm sometimes good at that. Sometimes, I'm more, I usually just make dumb mistakes, and that's how I die. It's not because I pulled too many mobs. Well, intentionally pulled too many mobs. Red Paladin is really slow and classic, but you get a talent at, like, late 30s that regens your mana when you cast Judgments. Then it's mob after mob after mob that you can mow down. Dude, let's go! That's awesome. That's so cool. Alright, Thor. Well, thanks for popping in. It's been a blast. Um, if you want to pop in Friday, um, it'd be a good time to see you. But yes, thank you for coming in. It's been good chatting. Reminiscing about the old days of WoW that I wasn't a part of. Rawr. Anyway. The talent is worth a show of 40-ish lavender. Worth a slow 40-ish levels. Oh, okay. Alright. Good to know. All right, folks, I'm going to hop off. Um, thank you guys for a wonderful stream. It's been a blast, and I will see you guys on Friday for some D&D &D computer games from the 90s. So have a wonderful night, sleep well, and see you then. Sayonara.